preserve aspect ratio is one of those other properties of SVG that I don't see used as much as it could be. Gives us a lot of flexibility. It's like background position, background position cover or background position contain with a lot more capability. So as an example, I have Batman and he is being moved around the page a little bit, but only by this one property. So down here we have an SVG uh, in our CSS and it has a height of 200 and a width of 100%. And what we can do is we can set that to be uh, an X and Y coordinate property with meat or slice, which you'll see in a second. Uh, X mid, Y mid, meat is actually the default. So if I take this away, nothing changes because that's the default. But we can start to change this. We can make it min, and that puts Batman on the left side, or max, which puts him over on the right side. We can change it to something like slice. And what you'll find is that it actually crops in on his center. So it crops from the top and the bottom until it gets there. Again, you can change this. So maybe you don't want it here. Maybe you want Y min so that we're seeing the very top of his head. He kind of looks shifty that way. Uh, maybe we want, only want to see the logo. So there it is. Okay, we can steer it around using the X and Y coordinates and then decide whether we are slicing or meeting. One final property that we have access to is none. And what this will do is it'll squeeze it in there just like way down here. Uh, it'll make it so that he is 100% in both directions. Looks pretty ugly that way, but it is available and you might, you might have need of that. So preserve aspect ratio allows us to position the SVG within our width and height, whatever we specify within within our app.